he bothered to show off the exact location of every single one of them. It's called a three heart run for, or it isn't called a three heart run for nothing. But yeah, once, uh, once, once you do that twice in this mini game, just turn around, talk to him, and he will give you 30 GP. Uh, let's see. This lady that's right next to the wrestling machine there, if you talk to her, you can trade your GP in for various items. There is one item that is going to be indisposable in this too for when I'm doing the uh, grinding or the golden chocobo. It's called Guild Plus. You need 1,000 GP to get it. So, yeah, let's go on and hop on the gondola with Yuki. Accommodates two passengers. Ew. Fuck you, dickhead. God, I hate that fucking Kate Sith. <sighs> and to think there are multiples of them. Now, in the gondola, you can press anywhere on the uh, D-pad. Pressing up makes Cloud just look up, being all emo and stuff. Pressing down makes Cloud look down, being all emo and stuff. If you press left, whenever Yuffie or someone else says wow or something like that, you look out the window and see what they're going wow about. And if you press right, you look at the camera. The only other button that does anything is the X button, which makes them lean forwards. But yeah, that, that just about covers all of this. We'll be seeing this gondola ride later on anyways, because it's a part of the date sequence. The only rise Reason. The reason why I did it this time was because if you go on the gondola ride with whoever you're trying to get a date with, it'll raise their affection a tiny bit. Well, that guy's got some freaky mustache. At least I hope that's a mustache. Well, it's just getting his stretch on. Oh, hey, balloons! We'll be seeing that mini game next, I believe. <laughs> I hate that mini game. The high scores for the mini game is 3,000 and 5,000. I don't know if there's one higher than that, but I've never even been able to get 5,000. 3,000 is pretty damn hard for me as well. All you can get for getting a 3,000 high score is a fucking use it, a useless item. Literally, it has no use at all. You can't throw it. You can't use it. Nothing. Uh. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention that uh, Chocobo holding the sign there, the one that says "N" on it, is the Fat Choco. That is a um, for the Chocomog, there are two versions of that summon. You can either get the actual Chocomog, or... Oh, hey, it's... Huh. The giant bustling guy we saw on the gondola ride. But like I was saying, the, uh, we got the regular Chocobo, or the regular Chocomog, which can stun enemies, and then there's the fat Choco, which can stun enemies, but also does critical damage for whatever the amount of damage the regular summon would do. Yeah, what is it? This guy is Dio. See, viewers, Dio didn't die. He just went back in time into a video game. Rest in peace, you magnific bleh, magnificent bastard. Tattoo that said... What? Whoa, whoa! Tattoo that said number one. God damn it, Sephiroth. Quit following me around. I'll visit the battle area in a little bit, you dick. 
Now, I personally came into this with more than just 30, or 30,100 gil because there are a few rights that require gil instead of uh, GP. This one requires GP, it's 10, I believe. Fine, I'll hear the rules. Yeah, you can't do this ride without hearing the rules. Circle the shoots. La la la. This ride is a pain in the ass. So, now that that's all taken care of, let's hop in. What you gotta do is shoot down as many objects as possible, then try and get the high score. The high score, of course, like I said, is 30,000, which gives you the Muramasa item, which is useless, and 5,000 at least. I don't know if there's any higher than that because I've never gotten higher than 3,000. There's a freaking spaceship I can shoot down, which I think it gives you like a thousand off the dot or something, but I have no clue what the strategy is to be able to shoot it down because I've never been able to do that. Ghost! Oh my! Each one, I believe, is like 40 points each, so you just gotta shoot down a fuck ton of them. Like, every normal thing is like 40 points each, so if you better work more like these guys, but normally they're on like 30, 40 points. This reminds me, I need to get a specific game again. The, uh, Spyro the Dragon from the original PlayStation. I need to get the blue games that are there. So, this is damn fun. Okay, that was a direct hit. How did you not die in this game? I think that fish is worth like a hundred or something. Oh, nope, 60. Stars, 40 again. But yeah, this, 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 this minigame is just a pain in the ass, and it's really not, as far as I can tell, worth it, because yeah, you get absolutely useless items, at least, um, I think, yeah, the things are worth 70, apparently. Now, my right, yep, balloon. The big balloon is worth 70 apparently. I may have an extra video later on at like the end of this Let's Play showing off these mini games I just can't be bothered to actually beat because they're just too damn annoying. I just gotta hook up the strat form first. The flying balls are actually worth However, hitting them is going to be ass to keep wiggling left and right. And once we reach the top of this, we're going to have to, or we get a look at the spaceship, which you can destroy somehow, but I've never been able to do it. get such a tiny window to destroy it. And if you miss it, there you go, it's, it's, it's gone for good. But, yeah, see, I didn't even breach 2,000 this run. Then 3,000 with a pain in the ass. <sighs> but, that's this minigame. talk to this person and they say, would you like to see the Wall of Fame? Prize if you beat 30,000, which of course is one of the highest scores, and there's another prize for beating 50,000, which I think is basically, you gotta have a perfect run of it. Uh, let's go to the Chuck. no, no, Chuck there we go. 
Uh, for the Chocobo races, you can bet on Chocobo racers and build up. A, you can actually get guilt plus this early in the game if you come in with a fuck ton of money. Like I say, at least come in with sixty thousand for the Chocobo races. There's two hundred to uh, start and a hundred guild per each person you uh, bid on. And, you, you can do the Chocobo races to get 30, no, you can do the Chocobo races to get the 2,000 gil. Now the ones I normally pick are the ones with the highest top speed, because those guys normally are the ones that'll win. Sure, stamina is important too, but top speed's a little bit better. So for now, just to show a bit soft, because I'm not really gonna bother with too much. It's not bidding on the first and second place being one in five. Those were the two highest speeds. Now you may be wondering why are they essentially in the back of the pack? Well, yeah, I don't remember if I won this or not, but then again I don't really care because I don't bid on Chocobo races. Normally it's a waste of my time, and I'll be getting the Guild Plus anyways a little bit later on at this too. Sure, it would be absolutely fucking useful this early in the game, because by the time I hit this too, I get like a stack of 99 of the, uh, of the freaking greens I'm going to need to breed the Chocobos. And yes, hearing that sound is very annoying over and over again. That's just the sound of the uh, chocobos overtaking each other. But this is the point that I was talking about because, as you can see, most of them are really near each other. The ones with the highest speed or highest top speed will be the ones that normally win it. As you can see, one is already up there but they kind of fell back, so I'm not winning it this time, if I remember right. Nope, didn't win it. Four and one. Oh well. But, yeah, like I was saying, basic strategy, just bid on the ones with the highest speed. If Joe is in the race, definitely bid on Joe winning, because Joe always fucking wins unless I am racing him. And even when I'm racing him, Joe's kind of a bitch to uh, win against, especially if I'm raising the wonderful Chocobo, which has no type advantage. I'll show off the other Chocobo track as well, but... That'll be later on. And over here is basically the inn of the area. Huh. Well, holy crap. It's the hanged man. Laws, tarot cards. Hey! That's a goblin head over there. This is the shop. Obviously. However, I have no need for items, right now anyways. Oh, it is Mr. Hangman. Ha! Ah! And it's 5 GP to stay the night, but I'm not tired, damn it. We'll see the upstairs later on. I think I covered everything, so... All that's left is to go to the, uh... Well, there's the event, but there's nothing going on at the moment. Like, right now, it's just a bunch of people snogging. Oi! Snogging people! Stop being bricks! I'll walk right between you and break up the moment. Everywhere. 